that phenomena down, what you think is what you, you create, down into this denser realm, that's what we're basically doing. It takes, it, it can take longer to go from thought to manifestation because of the density, right. but it's still the same principle. Okay, so if I can presume to, to summarize what you're saying then, is you're saying this, this whole reptilian connection is, yes, absolutely impossible as long as we're in this frame of mind, as long as we're thinking the way we're thinking now and we're experiencing what we're experiencing now. But if we understand um, things in terms of the holographic universe and the holographic brain, then yeah. these things aren't so far-fetched and aren't so far out. Absolutely, and they're perfectly explainable. I mean, when you, when you read uh, um, uh, books um, uh, from, from the scientific perspective, open-minded scientists, right. who have come to this conclusion that, yes, everything is a hologram, um, and, and these things become perfectly logical, never mind explainable. They what you have, in effect, is the Illuminati families being the genetic representatives uh, on this planet of these serpent gods. Serpents? Yes. The aliens who came down to Earth long, long ago didn't look like the Queen of England. In fact, they were serpent, lizardy sorts. And even when they interbred, the old reptile bit just wouldn't disappear. Well, I think the, the answer to why reptiles is why not? Um, it's just a form through which people express themselves, or entities consciousness expresses themselves. The Illuminati cover up their reptilian nature with a human disguise. But occasionally, though, the effort of hiding their slithery selves becomes too much, and the mask drops. Let me see you as you really are. People find it difficult to perceive of a two-legged reptilian entity with uh, what we would call an intelligent mind. Uh, but. I have talked to hundreds and hundreds of people all over the world, I've been to more than 40 countries researching this, um, who have told me the same basic recurring story of seeing people, often in positions of power, but not always, change from a human into a reptilian form and then, and then, and then go back again. Sometimes it's for a few seconds, sometimes it's for longer. My name is Mom Kemper, I'm 55 years old. I've been a, a psychiatric nurse for 30 years. I've lived alone for the last 10 years. 12 years ago, Mona had her first reptilian experience. In 1994, a reptoy appeared in my living room. Six foot three, thin waist, giant muscular legs. This being could kill five men with a swat. I was asleep because I worked the night shift. And I woke up, and mere inches in front of my face, there he was. And I was really freaked out. I stood up in my bed screaming. He appeared to me for six seconds, and I uh, was standing up in my bed screaming, then he vanished. And I just sat down in my bed, and I started laughing hysterically. It wasn't because I thought it was funny. I was just hysterical. I didn't know who to call. I thought even my own mother would not believe this, you know. So what's going on? Has Mona seen a reptoid alien, or does she just think she has? Or did the books she read by Ike play their part? I mean, I don't believe everything I read. I take it all in and try to make my own decisions. But David Ike's on the money. And I don't even know David Ike. I'm just telling you, I'm glad this man is gaining momentum in this country. Monumental struggle of good versus evil. But good will prevail. Don't believe that every service member should have them. Some don't believe that every service member should have them. Some don't because of the risks we talk about, but others...
never should have them. Some don't because of the risks we talk about, but others say if they can deal with the cost and pay for all of this, it is worth it not only to track missing troops, but to be able to tell friendlies from enemies on the battlefield. Brian Todd reporting for us. Uh, such devices, by the way, are in cost and pay for all of this. It is worth it not only to track missing troops, but to be able to tell friendlies from enemies on the battlefield. Brian Todd reporting for us. Uh, such devices, by the way, are not cost and pay for all of this. It is worth it not only to track missing troops, but to be able to tell friendlies from enemies on the battlefield. The state of Arkansas is reporting a record turnout at this point. Nevada and Nebraska are also showing that Democrats are getting a jump on early voting. In Washington, I'm Susan Roberts. Ron and Mary. Okay, wait, I'm going to do slow-mo for you. Is this still recording? Mm -hmm. Okay. Wait. <laughs> Hello. 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 Uh, look, yeah. Hello, me reptile. Me, your best friend. Okay, let me get it in some. And Nebraska or Texas, Florida, Georgia, and Arkansas. The state of Arkansas is reporting a record turnout at this point. Nevada and Nebraska are also showing that Democrats are getting a jump on early voting. They broke it because they're like, ah, don't focus in on her. There's uh, no hanky panky whatsoever going on. No Photoshop, I don't even know how to use it. That's just a pause from CNN.